Good evening, everybody. My name is Max, and I'm a grad student in electrical engineering. My name is Moyan, I'm a junior in electrical engineering. My name is Shanice, I'm a junior in mechanical engineering. And my name is Dan, I'm a senior in finance and management information systems. Now picture this. It's 5.33 p.m. and you just got out of work and you drive down the highway. All of a sudden you get a call. You find out it's your spouse and they're screaming in your ear because they are trapped in the bathroom because they ran out of toilet paper. <laughs> now, you now have to get toilet paper to home as soon as possible, otherwise your life is over. So what do you do? You quickly get off the highway, you go to the grocery store, you grab, paper uh, you grab toilet paper and you rush to the self-checkout line. Only to find this situation. You know, there's 20 plus people in front of you, they all have 50 plus items, none of them are using the machines properly, and getting one item is going to take you over 20 minutes. And that is a problem. And you're not the only one that we saw that 77% from uh, our research, they least satisfied with self-checkout experience today. Moreover, their self-checkout systems are inefficient, they are confusing, and they're expensive. They could cost 30,000 uh, US dollars. Not to mention that the uh, U.S. market is a low margin market with constantly increasing wages, whether it's human resources or technology. That's why we got an opportunity. From our research, we saw that 60% of people have spent more than five minutes waiting in line. Whether from the third party survey, we saw that the least satisfied experience for customers are online. Not to mention that the uh, U.S. market, they spend on average um, for 70 employees per location to a break uh, in a store. So our solution is USCART. USCART is a fully modular integrative system that will be able to be placed onto any existing shopping cart and create a frictionless shopping experience for any customer. Uh, how this product will work is that the customer will go about their shopping as normal. However, now they will be able to scan their items directly into their cart. Our system will tally up their total. And as soon as they want to leave, they exit the building without ever stopping at a cashier. And they will be billed accordingly without having to actually wait in line. Now, the benefits of this for the store is that they have higher foot traffic. People will be more uh, enthusiastic to go shopping. People will no longer view going to the store as such a massive time commitment. And in order to focus around security and protect uh, from, say, shrinkage or from theft of our individual module, uh, if there is an unexpected item in the cart, the weight sensor will go off, and after 30 seconds, the wheels will auto automatically lock. And if the cart starts to leave the parameters that we specify for it, the wheels will also lock, making the cart unable to move. <laughs> now, this space is in its infancy. However, there are a lot of major tech names entering the space. Uh, such as Amazon, Microsoft, Apple, and Google. And all of them are taking different approaches on how to make the customer experience better. However, all of their solutions require a massive amount of CapEx and IT infrastructure in place that small and mid-sized companies just simply cannot afford. And that's where we come in. We plan on making a fully modular, very cost-effective system that will allow even the small guy to keep up with the big guy. And this is how we plan on sustaining ourselves. Uh, for each location uh, here in Massachusetts, we plan on making just under $6,000 in profit a year. And assuming we're able to penetrate 1% of the market, we'll be making about $36,000 a year. Now, the reason why this is appealing, say, from the, customer, uh, from the business standpoint, is that a used car is only 15% of the cost of an employee. And the shopper will be interested in using their system because they'll be saving on average four hours a year from waiting in line. And as today, from um, our feedback from multiple stores, we finalized our design and now we're looking forward for prototyping. And as white judges, we are asking for $5,000 in order to create three different prototypes of the modular with app development and cloud storage and deploy our solution to the uh, stores and make a market research. Help us to help you to see no more lines with use card. Thank you. Cost of one? Are you going to own these and rent them out? Or are you going to sell them? And and whichever way that is, what, what's the actual? You have a cheaper solution, but but what is that cost for, for the individual cabbages? For uh, so uh, yes, we plan on leasing out these modulars that will be able these modules that will be able to uh, go onto any existing cart that say any grocery store already has. 
Um, the total cost for it, assuming from scratch without prototyping, uh, is going to be just under $1,000. It comes out to uh, 954 And that is including buying a shopping cart in order for us to test this all out. So the actual product would be just about $700, and we plan on charging about $300 a month per cart that is installed.
scanners that are looking for barcodes. So once you enter it in, it beeps it in. And if you take out an item, it will kind of bleep on your screen, like, are you removing this item, or what's going on? And you can either uh, put it back, or click yes, remove, and continue about shopping. 